ขอเสียงปรบมือดังๆอีกครั้งหนึ่งนะครับให้กับมิสเตอร์โอกายามาจากโตโยต้ามอเตอร์ประเทศไทยจำกัดครับผมแหมเข้ามาไม่ธรรมดาเลย Whenever you're ready สวัสดีครับ I am Yutaka Okayama of Toyota Motor Thailand Ladies and gentlemen First of all, I would like to express our great appreciation for giving us to introduce the project Harmo. The connecting vehicle ways network will not only create new service for the society and the customers, but also to provide an important business base for car manufacturers. In 2016. Toyota established connected company aiming to accelerate the business planning and technology development for the realization of connecting car society. Today, I would like to explain connected strategy of Toyota on an occasion to introduce our ultra compact electrical vehicle sharing system HAM in Thailand. Today, the environment around us is changing rapidly due to aging society, urbanization, and energy diversification. In addition, continued technology innovation changed the expectation of automobile from just a mean of transport to play a large role in social system. Toyota will make efforts to realize smart mobility society in addition to innovating vehicle technology in order to realize comfortable, convenient life cycle. Life cycle, sorry. In this smart mobility society, vehicle will contain new kinds of attractive and value added functions and feature that closely connect all aspects of human activities and life, and realize exciting and safe society. However, we must, however, we must always be aware that surrounding situation and society, uh, social customers are different in each region and country. For each region and country, Toyota provides the most suitable mobility service in, through ICT-based platform to connect people, vehicles, and society in order to contribute to realize smart mobility society. HAMO, which is going to be introduced in Bangkok, is one of the mobility services uh, from Toyota using this platform. HAMO, which is the ultra compact electri electrical vehicle sharing, is new mobility system which is connecting and integrating personal mobility with mass transit such as a train and bus networks. HAMO can provide more freedom and comfort to move over realized cities by asking people to move and reduce environmental impacts. HAMO is also suitable for urban short distance travel. Users of HAMO can drop off the vehicle at his or her destination. It doesn't need to return vehicle to the original destination, uh, sorry, original location. For example, in case of commuting to an office, people can travel from station by HAMO and drop the vehicles instead of walking or using taxi. Or in case of visiting the customers, people can use HAMO from the round trip between the train station and the customer's office. In other words, HAMO is the first or last mile mobility solution to make the travel easier. Then 
let, let me introduce an ongoing use case at Toyota City, where our headquarters are located. At this moment, in Toyota City, more than 100 units of ultra compact vehicles are in operation. And there are more than 50 stations at train stations, company office, officers, and office and commercial zone. More than 4,000 members are currently using the system. HAMO is a convenient and comfortable mobility service, and also it can reduce CO2 emission by shifting from private car use. In 2016, estimated CO2 reduction by HAMO in Toyota City reached approximately four tons of CO2, which was equivalent to the annual amount of CO2 absorbed by 280 trees. HAMO can contribute in various regions to solve the, their individual traffic issues. We would like to expand HAMO in metropolitan area, touristic place, local country, and underpopulated place or island. In addition to Toyota City, Tokyo as a metropolitan area, Okinawa as touristic place, Okayama City and Grenoble in France as a local city have already introduced HAMO. Bangkok is the first challenge for us to of the HAMO in metropolitan area in an emerging country. Regarding the introduction of the HAMO in Bangkok, 2017, this year is 55 years anniversary of our company Toyota Motor Thailand and also 100 years anniversary of Chularonko University. Toyota and Chularonko University agreed to collaborate to introduce this system in the Chularonko University site. And the name that the project is named as CU Toyota Harmo. In Bangkok, there is an amb ambitious mass transit expansion plan. However, even when the plan complete, how people reach to station or how people move from the station is very still big issue. As far as I understand, Thai people does not walk more than 200 meters. On the map left top, I draw 200 meter radius on the current BTS station and MRT station, but we cannot see the coverage area. Then I put 1,000 radius on the existing mass transit stations. Then I put another, uh, another 1,500 meter radius on the map in the future of the future mass transit expansion. It means even the government complete the mass transit, mass transit plan, still issue how we can reach the station is big issue in Bangkok. Then please look, please watch the video how harmful it is.
And we don't want to stop the project as a just a demonstration. We really want to contribute to the Thai society to create new mobility options to, su 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 uh, to support sustainable society and lifestyle, lifestyle change. The project, service, project, the service of the project start as from December, as from the beginning of December. And uh, the first two years is defined as developing phase. During the two years developing phase, we want to prove the five issues. First one, in Thailand, EV, electric vehicle, and sharing itself is new. So we want to specify user requirements of EV sharing, and also develop sustainable business model. We, Toyota, bear the initial cost of the installation of vehicle and the charging station. Chulalongkorn University will provide the land with free of charge. If we can achieve the cost and the revenue, operational revenue balance model, we think that can be sustainable. And the third one is we want to prove, prove the energy CO2 reduction by EV sharing. Once we can do that, once we can visualize that reduction, we think we can access to the various governmental initiatives, incentives. And the fourth, develop algorithm for vehicle relocation. I said the, one of the key issues is balance the cost and the operational revenue. To do so, the improving the operational ratio of the vehicle is crucial. And during the, the first phase, our operator will reallocate the vehicle manually or by themselves. However, we want to know where we should reallocate the vehicle. Using the big data, we want to develop the algorithm of that. Finally, the campus zone of the Chulalongkorn University is a very good field to study the autonomous relocation. During the night time, there is no people. And also, of course, there is no passenger. And also, the destination is fixed. We don't need to run the vehicle so fast speed. Just it's OK to run the vehicle less than five kilometer hours. If we think so, the necessary technology is much different from the ordinary automatic driving. The technology level, we think, is much, much lower. Once we finish the first phase, we want to review, and then we want to encourage the many, many developers around the Chulalongkorn site to invest EV and the charging station. If we can network this installation with Chulalongkorn site, then we think we can expand the operation of the EV sharing. As I said, the service starts as from beginning of December this year. The initial stage, we start with 10 electric vehicles, 10 charger, electric chargers with 12 parking stations. And by September 2018, we will add additionally 20 electric vehicles and five chargers. And uh, during the first stage, we run 30 electric vehicles. And this is the, the site of the Chulalongkorn University where we introduced the system. The site consists of campus zone and commercial zone. And we want to start with this limited zone, approximately 1.6 kilometer and 1.6 kilometer. And uh, this is outline of the service. And the user is lecturer, students, university officer, and any people who register. And uh, in the, for, in the, when we start the, the operation, we think in the beginning, the service time is from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m. in weekday. 
and uh, tariff use tariff is 30 bars for first 20 minutes and beyond the 20 minutes one bar uh, two bars per minute and uh, when the people register we want to ask them to pay for the registration fee but as a return we will give 100 pound, uh, points which equi equivalent to the 100 bars it means the first person can enjoy the system around for three times with free of charge. And all reservation on the payment is done by the mobile phone base. However, if we think about the future to extend the system to the, the Thailand, we have to increase the social adaptability of EV and sharing. And also, we have to increase personal adaptability of EV and sharing. We want to invite various persons from academic area, various persons from the government, and also various companies to proceed the co-development process to try to solve these issues by social development and technology development. For example, this zone, let's say zone three, there is no supporting role for the EV and uh, sharing economy in Thailand. I don't say no, but very few role. So uh, we want to discuss what kind of regulation or law is necessary for that. And also there is no supporting social system such as insurance. We want to open the discussion. And also this area, the, I think the uh, uh, Thai people is not familiar with sharing. And sometimes they feel um, it's bothering and uh, they, uh, they don't want to bother the other person. They don't want to borrow the property asset of others such as such. The point is how we can make social movement, how we can make it attractive or cool. That is issues of this zone. This zone is uh, approaching by technology development to increase the social adaptability. One of that is, as, as I mentioned, automatic vehicle relocation. This location is uh, vehicle relocation algorithm and also optimizing man machine interface. We want to, uh, the, uh, the, sorry, uh, HAMO can be the, a kind of open platform to invite various people to think about this matter. This is a rough image how to proceed the project, uh, the process. First of all, the Chulalongkorn University will assign four professors, leading professor in this four zone. And uh, uh, we will ask them to share the issues. What's happening in the world about this EV and sharing economy? And what is the issue in Thailand? Then we will open the, the a kind of idea song idea contest. We want to invite many people to give the, the ideas. And the prize, we will give the prize and the screen. Then project, deepening the idea to be the project. At that time, just planning of the project. And also, we, that is also a project contest. We will, we will also ask the participant to sharpen the, the ideas. Then once we select the possible project, we will, we will find out the financer, such as company, such as government, such as uh, uh, outsource, uh, uh, out funding, uh, outsource funding. I think the future is not the future of other person. Future cannot be developed by other person. Future can develop, can, can be developed by ourselves. So we very much appreciate if you can attend this kind of project, this project. Thank you very much.